Thank you for calling the British Army. I am sorry, but all our units are out at the moment or otherwise engaged. Please leave a message with your country, name of organisation, the region, the specific crisis and a number at which we may contact you. As soon as we sorted out Kosovo, Bosnia, Macedonia, Serbia, Sierra Leone, Iraq, Afghanistan, marching up and down bits of tarmac in front of Buckingham Palace and a compulsory health and safety at work training course, we will return your call. Please speak after the tone or, if you require more options, listen to the following numbers. If your crisis is small and close to the sea, press 1 for the Royal Marines. If your concern is distant with a tropical climate, good hotels and can be sold with one or two low risk bombing runs, please press 2 for the Royal Air Force. Please note that this service is not available after 16.30 or at weekends. If your inquiry concerns a situation which can be resolved by a warship, some bunting, flags, a damn good cocktail party with a first class marching band, then please write well in advance to the First Sea Lord, the Royal Navy, Whitehall, London, SW1. Thank you for calling. If you're interested in joining Her Majesty's Armed Forces and wish to be liberalised yet paradoxically AGAID'd, paid little, have premature arthritis, put your wife and family or gay lover in a condemned hut miles from civilization, and are prepared to work your ass off night and day whilst the Treasury erodes your original terms and conditions and cuts your pension, serve mainly in sandy climes without the right equipment, then please stay on the line. Your call will be shortly passed on to a bitter passed over recruiting sergeant in a horrendously fronted yet grossy little office down by the railway station. Have a nice day and thank you for trying to contact the British Army.